Well, this morning, residents of the Crestview Towers in North Miami Beach say they have nowhere to go. This comes after the condo building was deemed unsafe. You may remember they were evacuated within hours and then given just 15 minutes to grab their belongings and get out. Well, now they're pleading for help. CBS 4's Bo Beth Yates has more from North Miami Beach. I'm pleading and asking for out there in the community to step forth and, and help out. And that's why I created the GoFundMe page. North Miami Beach Mayor Anthony DiFilippo says his heart hurts when he thinks about the almost 300 residents who were displaced when Crestview Towers were deemed unsafe. You could see the children that, that were running around and some were sitting down and some were, you know, asking, you know, I want to go home or saying, I want to go home, I want to go home. and. You know, it, it kind of brought tears to my eyes. It really, it really hit home. So in his capacity as a resident, he made the bold move to create this GoFundMe page to raise money for his neighbors. It, it's very heart wrenching to see that they have to go through this and start, you know, all over again with nothing whatsoever. I mean, they, they don't they don't even have a meal to put on their table. The majority of the residents who were renting have been placed in temporary housing in hotels being paid for by the Homeless Trust and the Camilla House. Not only will that end on August 16th, many of the temporary housing do not have kitchens or microwaves, creating an additional bill. And owners like Harmon Bethel say they're not getting any assistance at all. My family, we felt homeless. We are told, be glad that you didn't uh, go through what Surfside went through. But I tell people, you don't know what it's like also being alive and going through this. Carmen says her and her mom are currently sharing a room at a family member's home. And her son is sleeping on the couch. Her grandmother, who has dementia, is staying with another family member and is also struggling with the change. She thinks she's been displaced permanently to not come back home. So she's crying, she's pacing. Carmen's family owns four units, and coming up with the first, last, and a security deposit for all of them is just not possible right now. Where do you come up with that money when you are still paying mortgage? We still have to pay maintenance, and we still have to pay assessment. Even if the building is shut, we have those extra bills. A concern that Mayor DiFilippo says he's trying to address. Putting my community leadership aside as a human being that that I had to do something to help them. I could not continue to put my head on a pillow every day. For more details about the GoFundMe page, go to CBS4's website. Bo Beth Yates, CBS4 This Morning.